Alrighty, so we're going to be learning how to do an electric today. So an electric is made up of four parts. There's the forward input, and then the neutral input, then there's the down, and then there's the down forward two part. So the first part is the forward, then neutral input, which is really easy. You just tap forward. The next part is the down input. And all you have to do here is hold down. The hard part about an electric is actually pressing the forward and two button at exactly the same time. So this is going to be controller dependent and we're going to go through each one of those. Okay, so we're going to start with stick. So the way you're going to do the down, down forward two input on stick is by pushing down and holding it. Then as you're sliding to forward, you're going to be pressing the two button at exactly the same time. So. It should look something like this. The way I like to think about it is as I'm pushing it forward, somewhere in between, I press the 2 button. Some people like to think of it as pressing the 2 before you push forward. That's fine. You need to find something that works for you. Alright, so the next control we're going to do is the pad. So the way you're going to do it is you're going to hold the down button and then you're going to slide your finger to forward down then forward and as you're sliding it forward you're going to press your two button so if you do it right you'll get a down then the down forward two so down and then as you're sliding forward you press the two button so the way i like to think about it is as i am pushing forward right before i do i press the two button some people like to think about it as pressing down and then pressing the two and then forward Whatever works for you. For keyboard and mix box and hitbox, you're going to be pressing down and holding it. Then you're going to be pressing the forward and your two button at the same time. Boop. Hold down and then you press your forward and two buttons exactly at the same time. You can practice this just by pressing the forward and two buttons together. And you should get a clean forward plus two. Alrighty, so now that you have an idea of what input you're trying to do with your controller, we're going to make some drills around it. We're going to start off with three really slow down, then down forward twos. So just a reminder, on stick and pad, you're holding down, then you're sliding your hand or your finger towards forwards, and then pressing the two. On keyboard and mix box, you're pressing down, then you're pressing the forward and two button at the same time. So I want you to do three of those. Not in a row, just three. So that's my three. Okie dokie, so now that you've done three really slow down, down, forward twos, the goal is now to do three of them in a row. So this will take quite a while, but that's the point. You're going to need to practice this a lot and you're going to be repeating this a lot because this input is exactly the hardest part of an electric and once you can do it you're going to be able to shit out electrics like that nothing okay so now we're going to be focusing on the only fast part of an electric which is the down input what you're going to do is you're going to start off with a down down forward two that's really slow and every time you hit one you're going to get slightly faster And the goal is to do a down, down forward two, before your character fully crouches. So this is fully crouched. So any time before your character is fully down in this state, is fine. So something like this is completely fine. This is about the speed that you want to be able to achieve. If you can get to this speed, you can do electrics. All right, so now we're going to add the forward input. So we're going to do the same thing as the first two steps, except we're going to press forward, then down, down forward two. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do three of these. Not in a row, just three. So forward, wait a second, down, down forward two. So that's one, forward, let go, down, down forward two. That doesn't count. Forward, down, down forward two. And the goal is to do three of these in total. So that's my three. All right, so now we're gonna do the second step, which is just forward, then down, down forward two. And you're gonna do three of these in a row. These can be nice and slow, but the goal is to do three of these in a row. 
Nice and easy. That's my three. Okay, so here comes the fun part. So earlier on, we were trying to speed up the down into the down forward two. And the reason we were doing that is because if we just add a forward input, we'll get an electric. So here is where you either know that you can do electrics, or you'll know that you need practice on a previous step. So if you are getting a dick jab like that, but you are getting the down down forward two, then you just need to go back one step and increase the speed of your down down forward two. Most people won't have that problem there. The big problem is getting consistent at the down down forward two. And doing any other steps will help with this. Because honestly, that's the biggest struggle. But once you can do that, you'll have electrics for days. And what you'll want to do now is just keep practicing this and slowly get faster. And once you get really fast electrics, oops. Ah, keep doing perfect electrics. <laughs> once you get really fast, ah. <laughs> the problem starts becoming timing instead of the speed of your electric. Just as a summary, so you don't have to rewatch the whole thing again, you want to do three slow down, down forward twos. It doesn't have to be in a row, so you want to do three of those just in general. Once you can do that, you want to do three of them in a row. One, two, three. And then you want to speed up your down, down forward two. And you want to do it before your character fully crouches. Then you want to do forward, then a slow down, down forward two. Forward, down, down forward two. It just has to be three, not in a row. And then you want to do three of them, but in a row. So forward, down, down forward two. Forward, down, down forward two. Forward, down, down forward two. And then you want to speed it up. So you want to do a forward, down, down forward two. And then you'll start getting electrics. And then now, once you get to this stage, you want to start speeding it up faster and faster. Okay, so the big reason why I suggest breaking down an electric like this is because to do dash electrics, it's exactly the same thing as what you've been practicing, except instead of doing one forward, it's two forwards. So you do a dash. So it's a dash, and then you do the down, down, forward, two. So dash, down, down, forward, two. So the way you've been practicing it makes this way easier. So something that I think is important is to give context to how hard it is to learn an electric and what things you'll run into. So one of the bigger things is your hands will hurt a lot. So at the start, it will be pretty bad, but it will get better. So for me, I can do electrics for an hour and I'll be completely fine. But when I started, I could barely do five minutes without having to put down my controller. In terms of learning the electric and actually doing them, it took me about four months before I could use them inside of a match. And it took me about half a year before I could do some of the big boy combos like four electric back to one. And to get this consistent took me over a year. So yeah, it'll take some time, but you'll get there in the end. Something that I like doing is pulling up a YouTube video in the background and just practicing these while I'm watching it. But yeah, good luck, you'll get there.